Okay, so recently I've been getting a few comments asking me on what custom ROM I would recommend for the Mi 8, and that actually would apply to a few other phones. But before I can tell you what ROM I will recommend, I need to talk about why and what other custom ROMs there are that you might want to go for. Because there really is a lot that you can choose from, and different ROMs work for different people. So I'm going to be using the Xiaomi Mi 8 as the main example of the ROM list because it has a very long ROM list. And not only that, it's just the phone I have on hand and it's the phone I've been making the video about. Afterwards, I will have clips from the phone itself showing showing the ROM that I'm currently on, Havoc OS, and what you know pluses that has over other ROMs. Sorry if I look a bit tired. I'm after a crazy party last night and I've been sleeping all day. So so here we are. Here's the ROM list. It's uh, it's one of the longer ones I've seen actually. The Xiaomi phones are quite good with releasing these. So let's just start off with the first one. So first of all we have Pixel Experience. It's probably the most basic one out of all of them. It's stock Android. It's, it's in the name. It's the Pixel phones. You know, the Google phones. It's that's really it. There isn't anything added to this. It's usually everything works and it's based on the newest Android. Uh, they recently released their CAC or CAF builds. There we go, which is supposed to be much smoother and better than just a pure AOSP. Uh, I haven't tried the CAF builds myself, but if you want something smoother, definitely try that because that's what people are saying to go for. Yeah, there isn't really much to say about this one. It is mainly just pure stock Android from the Pixel phone. In fact, you don't even flash the Google apps. That's already in the ROM. So let's just move on to the next one. Next one, we've got Resurrection Remix. Jesus, Resurrection Remix. Okay, so Resurrection Remix is probably the most customizable ROM out there. There's no question about it. Resurrection Remix has the most customizations out of any ROM you'll, you'll see. That is at the risk of losing out performance of battery though. I am not saying this is on every phone, but on most phones I have tried, Resurrection Remix does slow down after a while and there is a few hiccups, especially after you start changing more and more options. But I have had friends who I have installed this for that have not complained at all and have said that it is their favorite ROM and just love all the customization features. So it really is just a matter of what you want. Um, sometimes ROMs have a big long list of features down underneath here, but I think Resurrection Remix has just too many features to show off. So if I type, if I type that in, there's a lot of videos that uh, will show this to you, but um, I'm trying to find an image here and there wouldn't be an image. It's a big, big, big long list of customizations. And if you want to change something about your phone, you'll probably find it in Resurrection Remix. They have been getting better over the years with battery features, etc. So this is probably the most customizable one. So if you want customization, go for this one. The next one we have is Lineage. I know Lineage very, very well because I've been a long user of Signage and Mod and when Signage and Mod died, Lineage took over and saved my life. I have moved away from it though because recently phones have been getting much stronger and I've been wanting more and more features like customizations and Lineage is also one of those ROMs that is stock. Mostly stock, anyway. Um, it's less stock than, than Pixel Experience, not coming with Google Apps, but it's also missing out on all the customizations that you could be having on 2019's flagships that really can afford to have that extra little bit of customization. For example, on Lineage, I don't think you'll be having the touch controls, you know, the touch gestures where you swipe from the right or from the left to go back or up to go home and I've really gotten used to those they're really good um, so yeah that's that's lineage for you it's another one of those stock ROMs battery life's great performance is great I have nothing to complain about it just leaves me wanting more next one that we have is my current ROM it's uh, Havoc OS this is the ROM I've been on and I freaking love it 
and no joke, I before I was on this one, I was on Siberia, which we will be moving on to as well. This one was recommended to me by multiple people, and this is the one I've been running. It's mostly because of its features. As you can see here, these guys do give you a feature list. They have nothing to hide because the amount of customization you have here is, is truly insane. Everything about it is just polished up, beautiful. It's fast, the battery life, the battery life is insane. Like the battery life on this is honestly probably better than the battery life on MIUI. You have everything here. Anything you might want, you have here. Resurrection Remix has a little bit more customization still, but I'd say if you're an average user like me, anything that you might want to change about your phone, you can probably find here, including the touch gestures. So that, that this, is, this is my room, there's a screenshot here, if I go into it, you might be able to see it, but I will be giving you a video anyway. It's based on the newest Android 9, as you can see here, here it is, it shows you, shows you know, the charging fast, charging slowly. See, these guys give, this is their kind of uh, settings menu, I'll be showing you that later. So that's that. It also gives you the Xiaomi camera built in, the ANX camera, which... I don't use that much. I prefer the Google camera over the ANX camera quite a lot, as I said in my earlier video. This raw, oh, this is a kernel actually. Yeah, custom kernels can really help out as well, but I might leave that for a different video. Bacal OS, I, I can't talk about these because I don't really know what they are. So I'm just gonna skip over to Siberia. Siberia is probably one of the, you know, again, more known ones. I kind of stick to the official ROMs because that proves to me that everything is solved, there are no issues, and that everything will be working, and that OTA updates are rolling out, which is quite important for me, because I, you know, I want the bugs to be fixed. That's if there is any. Currently, there hasn't been. Havoc, good job. Siberia, again, has a big, long feature list. As you'll see, it's not as long as the Havoc one, which is mostly why I switched. Siberia was amazing, and still is. Um, this is why I switched because the feature list wasn't as long and kind of left me wanting more. But I went lineage to Siberia and then Siberia gave me some customization and then I realized that my phone can take it and I switched to the higher up one, which is Havoc. So again, Siberia, amazing ROM. Uh, again, gives you a little bit more customization. So if you want to first kind of try out the customization, see whether your phone can take it. I know more phones support Siberia than Havoc OS go for Siberia, then maybe switch to Resurrection Remix, try it out. So yeah, so that's actually mostly it. These are like the most popular ROMs that I know of that I would um, like be able to give you guys the feedback of. I don't want to give you feedback about a ROM that I haven't tried because that would be unfair on the developers. I'm sure they're all amazing. Uh, so what we're gonna do now is we're just gonna switch to my phone screen so that I can show you guys the ROM I'm on and the customizations it offers and what features I'm using. Okay. So here we are on my phone right now. Uh, I'm gonna click here into settings. I want to show you guys. So first of all, there's uh, screen recording built-in. I'm using the built-in screen recorded right now. And I honestly have nothing bad to say about it. As you can see, it's mostly stock, which is great. It doesn't push any of those weird features on you. Uh, here you can see it's running the newest Android 9 with the latest security patch, which is again amazing you can straight up tell that it's very smooth even while screen recording okay so as you can see here this rom has a big long list of customizations um it has anything from controlling your ambient display to like making it show the battery level to even having one plus gestures which i haven't tried out but i'm using the edge gestures that came with the phone because i got used to them so that's kind of what i st stuck with uh here we have Viper 4 effects, that's also compatible with this ROM, which is great because I use that quite a lot to control the bass and other aspects of my music. Um, more in Havoc settings, you have anything from controlling your navigation bar to changing how your buttons work, but you know, this phone doesn't have much buttons, so that won't really be coming in handy. You can even change your animations. Um, basically, this ROM will have all the customization you need, and if you if it does leave you wanting more, you can always switch to Resurrection Remix and see how it goes. This ROM, uh, battery-wise, if I go into my battery settings right now, I've been running about 12 hours, I think. That says 12 hours ago. Yeah, and 1 hour 44 minutes left. So that really does 
my day it's enough for me basically and then as you can see here um, six hours of screen on time which is well above average for me on a phone and if you turned on battery saver or something I bet that would give you even more so yeah that's that's basically it um, if you have any more questions put them down in the comments below and I will make sure to try and answer all of them uh, I hope this video helped you out a tiny bit to choose the ROM you want because I have been getting those comments under that last video and I just kind of wanted to help you guys out so yeah if you like this video make sure to give it a like if you want to see more like this or want to be notified when I upload more content click subscribe and see you again in my next video peace